Hello, Herman here with another video in the ClearPass workshop series where we'll build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless, Active Directory and much more. So in the last video, we configured our Aruba OS switch to do administrative authentication via TechX to our ClearPass policy manager. And we can see that it's uh, accepting the admin session. Um, and uh, yeah, that's this session. What I didn't uh, show you, but uh, showed you how to configure it is accounting. And uh, you can see here uh, that I performed a few commands. So I did a show the configuration for interface one. Then I entered configure mode and I disabled the interface and en enabled it again. So if we go here to the accounting tab, we can open this uh, accounting session and see here in the details exactly what I did, so I had access here at this moment. Then I uh, issued the command show running interface, uh, show running config interface one. Here I did configure terminal uh, and I disabled the interface and enabled the interface. So this allows you also, if you have very much switches, to have a centralized uh, repository of all accounting data so you can see who did what at what time. So very uh, good for compliance. And also for uh, yeah, few other uh, few other reasons, um, uh, so you know who did what security. Yep. So in this video, we will be uh, showing you how to do the web interface for uh, the Aruba OS switch. So we did secure shell uh, for the Aruba OS uh, switch. If you want to do web, um, you need to switch to Radius. So you can have management either via TechX or via Radius, and you can see here with Radius, there's another option that does web login. So the web login, um, yeah, it's not supported over TechX. Don't ask me why, um, it's just uh, not supported uh, via TechX. So let's put the commands in. So we need to configure the Radius server. Let's switch both SSA and web now over to the radius and we need to do the accounting as well over radius so just we're still in config mode so um, this again is the configuration on the switch so very limited so let's go back to our clearpass policy manager and you probably know by now that we need to create an enforcement profile so let's create that one um, and i think the radius based enforcement is uh, the best matching workshop AOS switch um, radius admin allow admin access to AOS switch. And then here under the attributes, what we need to do is we need to uh, return an attribute um, of the service type um, with the value of six for an administrative user. And I now type it in. I could have uh, gotten it here from the ClearPass configuration, but just like last time, I'd like to show you how to build it manually. But to get the information, uh, there's a document called the Aruba OS Switch Access Security Guide. And uh, there you can find the radius attributes that need to be uh, returned for the privilege mode um, to uh, yeah to enable uh, managers to log in. So you can see your manager uh, level, which is the full admin level. You need to return a value of six on the service type. And uh, if you want to have an operator, which more like a read only, then you need to return uh, a seven. If you return anything else, uh, the access will be denied. So we need to uh, return that attribute. So then here in the policies, we need to create a new policies to map this to the correct users. So workshop AOS switch admin radius, radius admin access on Aruba OS switches. Then here, oh, we put the default profile on deny. So if we make any mistakes or oversee things, um, people at least don't get access instead of we have full access. And then here um, we check if the um, tips 
role equals admin. We return the admin uh, return attribute with that uh, service type. So now, based on this, we can create a service. So let's create a new service and a good template should be the radius enforcement Gen generic for this one uh, workshop aruba os switch admin let's mark this as radius so we know what it is about and we need to put uh, some service rules in here um and yeah, the service rules that I looked up before um, that work pretty well are IETF and I just let an authentication uh, hit my clear pass and uh, got the information from that. But there are also all kinds of documents that um, have this um, described. So uh, like the tech notes, um, it's all in there as well. So um, I take the NAS port type uh, as virtual and I take the uh, service type that should match the NAS prompt user number seven and make sure that it matches all the rules and not just one. So in the next step, we need to se select the authentication method, which is uh, PEP authentication for uh, admin authentication in gener general. And we authenticate against our active directory. So we can use our AD account to uh, log in the administrators. We take the same role mapping that looks in AD Users that are in the work group admins group, they will get the WS admin uh, role assigned. And here we can have the uh, policy that we just defined uh, where we check if the admin role is uh, assigned, then we return access to the device. So let's move this one up. So we get it in its own section. And let's try now if we can do um, help desk one that shouldn't work. Oh, session expired. Let's try again. So help desk one. So it looks like I'm rejected. Let's see here in the access tracker. And I am, uh, yeah, via radius rejected. And here it says access denied by policy. So that's good. Authentication succeeded. I had a correct password, but the policy just uh, didn't allow me access. And uh, let's try again here. Admin one. And let's see if that works better. So yeah, we can see that we are logging in now to our switch. So we can see what's happening on the switch and do configuration and uh, stuff like that. And here we can see that indeed it does provide me access. So let's see if the same works for the secure shell. So we have access configured terminal. Um, let's see. Yep. Yeah. So up, oh, this is my, um, secure shell authentication also happening. And here under the accounting, uh, you can see here for the details as well here. I did uh, perform the configured terminal command to, um, yeah, to go into the configuration mode. So in this video, we configured radius authentication for administrative users against ClearPass on Aruba OS switches and, um, there are more videos like this. So if you subscribe to the channel, uh, please do so. And you will be notified if there are new videos. And if you like it um, or have comments, please let us know below this video. So uh, comments and uh, likes are really uh, appreciated. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this time and uh, hope to see you again in another video.